Welcome to the homework for lesson 31. This is module 4 of grade 2. Write your name here first. And we've got a lot of word problems here. Melissa had 56 pens and 37 more pencils than pens. How many pencils did Melissa have? So we're going to RDW all of these. every word problem every day read it we just did that notice it's 37 more pencils not 37 pencils we're going to draw it drawing it helps us make sure that we read it correctly so she has 56 these are pens right And she has 56 of those. Then we go to draw the pencils. She has more pencils than pens. So it should be a bigger piece of tape. And we know that the more is 37. This is the more. And she has 37 more. All right, so if this 56 this part here is the same as that part there so this has to be 56 so we need to find out what that is 56 plus 37 I'll erase my rdw to make some room here equals Here's our equation, 56 plus 37, I'm going to use vertical addition. So that's 6 plus 7 in the ones digits, that's 13, that's 3 ones and a 10. And now I add my ones digits, 3 and 5 is 8 and one more is 9, 93. She has... 93 pencils. Here's how you spell pencils right there. How many pens and pencils did Melissa have? So here's the picture for that. Pens are 56. Pencils are 93. Fifty six plus ninety three equals we'll find out fifty six ninety three six plus three is nine nine ones and then five plus nine is fourteen that's fourteen tens which is a hundred forty so we have a hundred forty nine she has 149 pens and pencils. Okay. Now Antonio gave 27 tomatoes to his neighbor and 15 to his brother. He had 72 tomatoes before he gave those away. How many tomatoes does he have left? So he, he had 72 <clears throat> These are this is the before tomatoes, right? 72. That's all his tomatoes. Now, out of those 72, 27 he gave to his brother. That's his bro. Uh, no, he gave 27 to his neighbor. Oops. Twenty-seven is the that's a crummy looking and it looks like an H. Neighbor. And then fifteen to his brother. 
15. That's his brother, BR. And then the rest he are the ones he has left. We don't know how many those are. <clears throat> so how many does he have left? We'll figure these out. And then we can subtract to figure out how many are left. So that, that's what the picture does. Sometimes you, you might have to figure out two things to find the answer to the question. And the tape diagram helps you figure out what your strategy is going to be. So I'm looking here for a shortcut. And we could either subtract 27 and then we could either subtract this and then subtract that or we could add and then subtract so either we subtract twice or we add and then subtract most second graders would rather add and then subtract and subtract twice so let's figure out what the 27 plus the 15 is first that's going to be 27 plus 15 erase that there. 7 plus 5 is 12. And 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. That's 42. So this is 42. So the equation we're looking for here is 72 minus 42 equals um, how many are left? And, well, it looks like we can do that in our heads. It's going to be 30, isn't it? Right, because we're going to subtract the two ones. And we'll have 70 minus 40, and that's 30. I mean, we'll subtract two here in the ones digit. And that, so we won't have any ones left. So it's going to be 30. Let me erase that question mark. We'll just write that. So Antonio has 30 tomatoes left. Next page. The bakery made 92 muffins. 17 were blueberry. 23 were cranberry, and the rest were chocolate chip. How many chocolate chip muffins did the bakery make? All right, so we read it. We're going to draw it. We'll write an equation and an answer statement. So we have 92 muffins, and then we're going to figure out all the different kinds. And these are just M for muffins. So now we know something about some of these. 17 are blueberry. And then another 23 are cranberry. And all the rest are chocolate chip. That's what we have to figure out. So, if we figure out this, then we can figure out the difference, what's left. 17 plus 23. You can see right here, there's a way to make 10, right? So, it's 10 plus, and this is... That's going to be 30, right? 10 plus 20. So 10 plus 30, 40. So we need to figure out 92 minus 40 is going to get us our answer. This is 40. Right? And this is, this is something we can solve in our head. It's going to be 52, isn't it? Because we, all we have to do is subtract 10s. 
52. Uh, the bakery. Fifty-two chocolate chip muffins. Number four. After spending forty-three dollars on groceries and nineteen dollars on a book, Mrs. Groom had sixteen dollars left. How much money did Mrs. Groom have to begin with? So when you're spending money, that's money you don't get to keep anymore. But you had to have it before you spent it. So this $43 she spent on groceries, she had to have that in the beginning before she started going shopping. Because she can't spend it if she doesn't have it. If she's using cash. So here we have, this is $43. And that's G for groceries. And we know she had $19. And that's on a book. And then she had money left. $16 left. How much money did she have to begin with? So we got to add these three numbers together. This is what we have to find out. So our equation is 43 plus 19 plus 16. The first thing I want to do is look at the ones digits, but I don't see an easy way to make 10 there. But this 19 is pretty close to 20. So I'm going to go up to the tape diagram, predictably, and I'm going to think, you know what, what if I took one from the 16 and gave it to the 19, then I'd have a 20 here, and this 16 would be a 15. This 20 plus 15 would be a lot easier to put together, right? Then I'd have 43 plus 20 plus 15, and these two together would be 35. And then I have 43 plus 35. And I can just look at the digits here. Right? I could put it, make it vertical. 3 plus 5, 8. 4 plus 3, 7. No bundling necessary. Mrs. Groom had $78. To start with. But you also could have done it like this. I mean, we haven't shown you using vertical addition with more than two add-ins, but I, I do want to show this. You can stack them up like that, too, and add them all together. 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 and 6 is 18. And then you just have 4, 5, 6, 7, and you can get your 78 that way, too.